Do you want to make it big in sales? Well, step number one is to stop procrastinating. Now, I used to have a huge problem with putting off tough tasks until later, and then later, and then un later until I was in trouble, my career suffered because of it. But then I learned how to stop procrastinating for good. And today I've built a seven figure sales training business. I run two YouTube channels and I'm more productive than ever before. How did I do it? Well, I killed my lizard brain. Hi, my name is Will and I make selling simple. Now in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to stop procrastinating. And we're gonna talk first about the lizard brain, what it is, how it works, and why you need to get rid of it to become truly successful in sales. And then I'm gonna take you step by step of how to kill your lizard brain so that you can eliminate procrastination for good with four simple techniques. One, goal priming two, overload reduction, three, deconstruction, and then number four, the five minute rule. So let's get right into it. Now, the lizard brain, what is it? What the heck, you may, you may have heard this term before, but what the heck is it in reality? Well, it's part of your brain that's left over from our pre-human ancestors, and it's focused only on the now, the moments that we live in. It doesn't understand the future, and it certainly doesn't understand the past, and it reacts according to your most basic base needs. On the other side of your brain, you've got what's called the human brain. This is the rational side of you. You can use it to remember the past and also to predict the future. It can plan, it can choose to avoid pleasure now in exchange for greater pleasure and gains in the future, and that is super key. But for as advanced as the human side of the brain is, well, it doesn't deal well with abstraction. If it can't find a clear pathway to completing a task, even if it knows it wants to do the task, then it gives up control and it passes it over to the lizard brain. And the lizard brain's go-to method for dealing with a problem is good old fight or flight. The problem is you can't fight abstract goals like increasing revenue this quarter or boosting my commission rate by 10%. And so, the lizard brain chooses flight instead. It runs, it procrastinates, and your human brain finally swoops in at the last minute. And once it started this process of procrastination, your human brain jumps on top and starts to justify all of the reasons that your lizard brain gives you for not getting started in the first place. Now, the good news is, that you're not gonna be trapped in this cycle because you can kill your lizard brain. You can stop it from working and you can stop procrastinating for good. You just gotta do a little bit of brain hacking to get the job done. And there are four techniques to do that. And number one is what we call goal priming. So when you're faced with a daunting task, like spending hour after hour after seemingly hour of prospecting, it's hard to find the motivation to get started. I get it, right? I've been there. I don't want to prospect most of the time either. But that's because our brain gets focused on the difficulty of the task. So instead, we're going to focus on the end result. We're going to look at how this work is going to pay off, what your life is going to look like after you've achieved these goals. If you're focused on boosting your commissions, but you hate cold calling, well, think about what the extra money is going to mean for you. What will that extra 20, 30, 50, 100 grand mean for you and your family? What about the career opportunities that are gonna open up as a result? So the more and more you think about the rewards of the task in hand, the less you're gonna think about the costs and the more likely you are to stay in the human part of your brain that can see the future and to get started. Technique number two is called overload reduction. So there is such a thing as having too much choice. It's called the choice overload bias. And it's the documented phenomenon of people having a harder time deciding when they have more options in front of them. And it's worth noting that they're also less satisfied with their choice because they've got more options when all is said and done. So if you find yourself struggling to get started on a task, take a step back for a minute. Just, just drop everything and take a step back. Are you trying to decide between doing three, 27, 500 different ways of prospecting this morning? Well, that's probably your problem. Instead, limit your options, cut down your choices, simplify, sell it made simple, it's what we do, simplify your choices. And that's gonna help you get started. Don't worry too much about making the right choice or whether you should be prospecting with cold calls, emails, LinkedIn, or wherever the newest fad is. You can always pivot later on. What matters at this moment of time when we're procrastinating is getting started and then moving forward and getting momentum. That's all that matters. So limit your choices and you're immediately gonna be less likely to procrastinate. The next technique to kill your lizard brain is deconstruction. Now, 
the bigger the goal, the more intimidating it's going to be. And when you're dealing with something as huge as, oh, maybe I want to earn $100,000 more this year in commissions, well, it can seem like just unlimited hurdles that you've got to deal with that it's going to be very difficult to do and you're going to make no headway towards it. That, of course, starts to kick your lizard brain into high gear and it makes you 10 times less likely to get started than ever before. But here's the trick, and it's not rocket science and you know you should be doing this, break down that large goal into smaller, smaller, smaller ones until it becomes more manageable. Okay, so let's say you wanna earn another 100 grand this year. Totally achievable in most B2B sales roles. So that's 25 grand a quarter, then we're gonna go into a month, then we're gonna go into a week, then we're gonna go into a day, and then we're gonna work out how many more sales you need a day to make that extra income a month. And then we can break it down even further. With your current client success rate, how many cold emails do you need to send? How many cold calls do you need to make? How big does your sales cadence need to be? What do you need to do to generate that revenue? And then it's as easy as well. Yeah, you can send another two emails a day. Yeah, you can make three more cold calls a day, whatever the numbers work out to. And you can start chipping away at that larger goal day by day by day until you hit it. So instead of getting stuck and procrastinating on the fact that you want to earn 100 grand more this year, because I don't know, you want to buy a nice Porsche or whatever it is. Instead, we're going to reframe it as, hey, I know I just need to spend another 25 minutes prospecting each day to achieve that big goal. And it becomes a lot easier to swallow and it allows you to use your human brain to get the job done rather than it being bounced over to the lizard brain. And the last technique that we're going to talk about is the five minute rule. And this might be the most immediately powerful for you. See, the hardest part of most tasks, and you can tell me if you agree with this or not in the comments, is actually getting started. The initial hump of momentum needed just to get the laptop open, the phone in your hand to do those selling activities. I find if I can get past that hump, I start to build a bit of momentum and that's usually enough to carry me through to the end of the task. So instead of avoiding a task that you know is going to take you a full 30 minutes to complete, instead commit to just five minutes. If you hate cold calling, but you know it's going to make you revenue this year, then just do five minutes of it. If you can't stand updating your CRM, just give it five minutes. Are you always just completely miserable when you're trying to learn product specifications, then just do five simple minutes. Five minutes is often all it takes to get your brain in gear focused on the task. And I know once I've done those five minutes, that's the hardest bit. And typically nine times out of 10, I just go sod it. I'll carry on. I'll get it finished now that I've started. So at that next sign of procrastination, commit to just five minutes of work and you'll be, you'll be shocked. You'll be surprised how quickly you get the motivation to keep going. So if you're procrastinating, you're typically just giving in to your lizard brain. But with these four techniques of goal priming, overload reduction, deconstruction, and the five minute rule, you're going to be able to stop procrastinating for good. You're going to start getting through those tough tasks that you know you've got to take care of, and you're going to level up your sales career. So if you enjoyed this video, why not click the video that's on the screen right now and continue making selling simple.